Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create um, a dome using three methods in Grasshopper. Uh, the first method is to create a dome using a revolution, same thing as a revolver. Uh, so you want to use it an STL because for us to create a revolve, we need an axis and the uh, and a profile so our line is going to be our axis um, and the STL allows us to create a line using a start point a direction and the length so we need to construct construct the point and that's our line then uh, you can create an arc um, so the radius of the arc you can set to 50 and uh, give it a plane of XY or XZ whichever one doesn't really matter then uh, set the axis sorry the angle uh, actually um, then use a revolution That's our axis, uh, and that's our profile. There we go. And you can you can always increase this to. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna change that. So I'm not really sure what the domain is, but okay. So save. Seven. Okay. Yeah, it's better. So we can, yeah, basically go that way. Uh, yeah. So the second method would be to create um, a series of circles and lofts between them. So just use a circle and set the radius. So now you want to move that circle. Um in your z direction by uh say hundred. Uh you can reduce that. And the circle you have moved, you want to scale it. So the skill basically just gives you um, a flexibility um, with your loft, like with the shape of the dome. So that's it. That's the whole aim to see what method works best and, and why it works best. And of course, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. So, uh, so that's what we want to scale. And I'm just going to set the range from minus one to one uh minus one point zero to one point zero actually not minus one say minus one point zero to two point zero yes okay so i'm gonna plug that to x and y uh Actually, I don't need the minus. Let's just say zero. Okay. Yeah, because uh, zero goes to nothing and two. Okay, so uh, so you just want to repeat the same the same process. Um, here, move it again, and 
scale it again. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, so move that, scale that. So now we have three profiles. I'm going to hide that and hide this one because we really need the scaled one. Uh, you can love between them. So the base. And you need to be con conscious of, uh, of the arrangement. So this kind of gives us a little more flexibility to the shape of our dome, the type of our dome, or whether or not it whether or not it's a dome. Uh, the third method would be to create a sphere. And uh, we can set the radius to 50 also. Yeah, and so you want to create a plane and use that plane to split your, your sphere into two. Uh, sorry. So let's say uh, 100 for the x and y extents of the plane. Well, I want to set that to say about 150. Just so we have enough room. Good. So now you want to move this plane. Um, you want to move it to your along your x and y axis. Okay, so let's disable that. This is what we want to use. So this, the sphere and the new plane. Um, so basically that just allows you move the plane along the X, diagonally along the X and Y axis. And, and now you can split your B rep, the B rep and the cutter. And uh, I'm going to hide that. So now we have two different objects, and you would see that if you pull out a panel and you look through that, that's uh, two trimmed surfaces. So you could just uh, just list item. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, if you pick one, that's that's a base, and then zero is the it's the top, but it's automatically set to zero. Oh, you yeah. know by default. Uh, so these are three different ways you could create a dome.